Hey everybody, welcome back. We have another box here, another box from Misfits Market. Once again, it is the Mischief box. Um, there's going to be a handful of add-on items. And uh, again, I got to select the items that went into the box. I was more prepared this time. So if you want to see a better detail of the selection process, stick around to the end of the video and, uh, and I'll show more of how, how that goes. But in the meantime, uh, let's see what came this week. Let's see what I ordered this week. All right. Hey, once again, we've got the, uh, the insulation that looks like, like regular attic insulation. It's like our first uh, repeat, I think. So, put that down there. All right. Ah, ha, ha. Super cold, cold pack. Man, last week, this thing was like barely better than room temp. This time, super cold. That's what I like. The cardboard divider. And organic green beans. These are uh, always a treat to get. They are delicious. They make a nice side with your meal. Good stuff. Happy to see the green beans. And on the other end of the spectrum, an add-on item, the Rainier Cherries. These ones, they were uh, $6.29 to get these. But, I mean, look at those. Those look delicious. Look how, look how frosty everything is. The, uh, yeah. You can see already, things have shown up significantly colder than they were last time. This is what is the norm, I would say. I have also... Organic artichokes. These were an add-on item. It was a two-pack. And they were, uh, I got my list over here. $2.29 for a pair of artichokes. But check them jokers out. I've never had artichokes before. So I'm curious. I don't, I don't know what to expect with that. But I'm willing to try something new. Always, well, I'm always willing to try something new. Uh, if you have a suggestion on how to prepare that, what the best course of action for it is, let me know, because I'm just going to Google something anyway. Organic mini seedless watermelon. This was $2.99. Looks like it's in good shape also. I was a little concerned that the, uh, the travel was going to be harsh, either on the watermelon or on the other contents of the box as it, you know, moves around in there. What we got here? Romaine lettuce, I believe this is. Eh. So so. So so. We got a little bit of schmutzy leaf over here. And uh, a little bit over here. But I would say overall. Not terrible. Still super cold. It's like nothing is horribly cracked and broken or anything. So uh, it certainly could have been a lot worse. Red bells. I don't remember getting red bells. Yeah, these were not something that I ordered. So something in there must have been out of stock. Uh, when things are out of stock, my, my experience now tells me they will put something uh, comparable from the same group in so that you are not left without. But there's two red bell peppers. They look like they're in good shape also. At least the watermelon didn't get them. They didn't get cracked up or anything. And they will, they will go to good use. Okay, uh, mini seedless cucumbers was one of my items. This one, I'm guessing is what it is. It's a little, a little soft on this end. You can see that that's kind of... Uh, mushy but the remainder of it remainder of it feels good and this was one of the regular items that we selected let's see mango this is uh this is the tommy atkins mango looks okay not bad shape the chocolate orange Paleo bar. Uh, this was an add-on item. 
I believe this little thing was two bucks, two dollars and nine cents. Yeah, but I wanted to try it. I hadn't had it before. So, yeah. And that was the last of my add-on items. The remainder of the things that are in the box are all going to be part of my regular uh, $22 mischief box selections. We got some potatoes. Little uh, these golden potatoes, yellow potatoes. Those are in good shape. I've been uh, I've been having some trouble getting through this stuff fast enough. Every week it seems like I have potatoes in my pantry that start to sprout before I get them before I get them eaten. This is our Romanesco cauliflower. A little piece broken off in the box, but uh, a bit on the small side, I think. But I don't know. Maybe it's giant for this uh, for this breed or whatever of cauliflower. So there's that. Paper divider that is perfectly normal part of the delivery. Got a grapefruit. Looks good. No uh, no no major smushy parts or anything. There it is, a butternut squash that's uh, again in good shape. Large yellow onion. So that's my yellow onion. It's okay, but I wouldn't call it large per se. Yeah, gold beets. That was on our selection as well. Again, the veg itself looks like it's in good shape. We got uh, beets a couple weeks ago and the greens on top looked horrible. I like when the greens show up in good shape because as long as you can keep them attached, they kind of trick the vegetable to stay in fresh a little longer. But um, yeah, these ones look much better than the ones we've been getting. But this, actually this beet has got a crack in it right there. Uh, schmutzy. But overall, cut that off, cook it up, eat it anyway. Another nice thing about the golden beets, uh, if you're if you're used to the regular red ones, is you cut those up and they like bleed all over the place. They stain with that that red tint that they have inside of them. The golden beets are supposed to be better about that, and not have that same uh, pigment to them. And fennel. This uh, I've never cooked with it. I've never had it. It's a new thing for me. Um, yeah, if I didn't know what I was doing with the artichoke. I don't even know what this is. So definitely, if you have any advice, any suggestions about the fennel, let me know. How do I prepare this? What part of it do I use? Is it good? Um, but there you go. That is how the fennel shows up. Looks like it's in good shape. I don't have a problem with that. Well, <laughs> it's just everything's hidden by something else. Look at that. Okay, and that is everything in the box. So the things that I ordered, my order was for Romanesco cauliflower, mini seedless cucumber, uh, green beans, fennel, gold beets, romaine lettuce, celery. Aha, they didn't send celery. So presumably the red peppers replaced the celery that I ordered. They must have just had a had a run on and been out of them. We got a uh, celery. Roma tomatoes, I was supposed to receive also, which maybe that's why I've got the butternut squash, because I didn't order the butternut squash. Uh, grapefruit, yellow potatoes, Tommy Atkins mango, and a large yellow onion. So last week they didn't have two of my items and they substituted them. This week I was missing two of my items and they've substituted those also. Um, I'm not thrilled about it, but overall it's okay because the substitutions they gave me are still things that will get used. Things that will still go to, uh, go to good meals. Um, all of my add-on items showed up in decent shape. Thrilled about that. Curious about how the artichoke's going to turn out. Um, and that's everything. That's all we got this week. Thank you so very much for, for coming back and checking out the contents of the box with me. If you are 
more interested to see how the selection process went, stick around. I've got, a, I've got a little screen recording of that that I'll put up and we'll talk a little bit about what the options were and you can see what could have been. As always, check the description if you're interested in getting this for yourself. There'll be a, a link down there to take you over to Misfits Market and I will leave a code in the description that will get you 25% off of your first box. That is a significant discount and I'm happy about that. Uh, as always, if you thought this video was good, if you got some value out of it, please hit that like button. If you'd like to see more stuff like this, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you come back and see my next video. Thank you very much, and uh, I'll get this stuff put away, and we'll start looking at my computer for the selection. Thanks. Okay, so here we are in my computer. I click on the part that says Customize, and that brings me to here where uh, there's different sections, and in each section it tells you how many items you can pick from. Um, there's plenty to choose from. It changes up each week, of course, depending on what is available, you know, what's in season and so forth. Uh, if there's something you really like, unfortunately, you can't pick multiples of a thing. You can only pick each one of these tiles once. And then at the bottom where it says confirm selections, you click on that and that would bring you over to the marketplace where you go through the add-on items. Now, if the, uh, in the outside chance that you make your selections, but then later on you're like, oh no, there was another thing. I'd like to go in and change that. That's an option. But when you log back in to change things, it deletes your previous selections. So you'd have to go through and choose everything again. This, of course, leaves the potential uh, open that somebody else is shopping at the same time you are. And if you no longer have selected Valencia oranges, maybe somebody else will. And then they'll get the last of an item and uh, you won't have the same choices that you really had your heart set on. So I would say in this point, uh, at this time, you should really just uh, take your time, pick the things you want, and get what, it, what you're genuinely interested in. Uh, I logged into this just shortly after four o'clock, and uh, you can see the bok choy here was already sold out. So when your window to, to get in and make your selections becomes available, you really do need to strike while the iron's hot. Anyway, you move along to the next section after you've picked your regular items there. And this is the marketplace where you can get add-ons. And it is very similar to the regular selection screen. Everything's broken down into sections, whether it's mushrooms or coffee or tea or whatnot. Um, you hit select for something. You can change quantities here because you're paying extra for it. So if you found something you really liked, you can get three, four, or five of them. Um, and then at the bottom, you confirm that it'll give you your your subtotal and you click OK and uh, and that takes care of the add-ons. I certainly hope this was helpful. This is good information for you. Uh, if it was, by all means, thumbs up. Um, if it was not, then uh, get in the comments and let me know what information do you need? What do I got to tell you? You know, what are you interested in? I guess that's everything for this video. Thanks again for sticking it out to the very end here, and I'll catch you next time.